Hello guys and welcome to Roundabout. Now, you may be looking at this and think, well it doesn't exactly look like a game. Well, this game has got real life cutscenes in, which are a bit, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit weird. Um, so what this game is, the story behind it is that like you're a cab driver, and not a cab driver, a limo driver, and you go out and pick up people up, except there's ah, one thing, the but I'll, I'll let this go first. The big twist of the city that always spins. If you can drive through here, you can drive through anywhere. Now, you might notice that things are a little peculiar around here. Well, that's because this is roundabout. Everyone does things different around here. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So, you are a limo driver who drives Hi there. Uh, a limo Leo which spins Rico around. Manus? You don't Meet speak, George that's Manus, you. The world's first revolving limousine driver. Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine operator's test, so just keep things straight and quick and this will be over ASAP. If only our pal here could see inside Giorgio's head. See, there's only one way this chauffeur drives. And it's with a twist. Giorgio so, never stopped revolving. Yeah. As a kid, Giorgio learned to move with can... spin instead of fighting. You have to... Wow, well, right now we're just doing our DMV test, but this is you. You... Giorgio from Oops. And turning. You have to drive around without hitting stuff. You can hit a few things, and yes, things taller than a limousine. They, you can kill people in this. Unstoppable. Now you can hit some things, but you only have like five hits, and then you blow up. But then you just like instantly respawn, so it's all fine. Enjoy the thrilling world that is the luxury transportation industry, I guess. Thank you, guy. And yet, yeah, all cutscenes are like that, and the cutscenes are quite often, and With it's kind of funny. So let's pick up Mickey the, Mickey. Mickey, the Mickey. Mickey the Mechanic. My name's Mickey. Mickey the Mechanic. Hello, Mickey. I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the block. Okie dokie, Mickey. And you get points for collecting those things, but you don't have to. But of course, if you're on points, you do. This spinning thing is even Ooh. better from the inside. Now, right now, there is only uh, st like still cars and stuff. Ooh. Don't know what that is. Let's go around here. Horn. Yes. And back round here without damaging myself too much. This, this oh. is the future of transportation. Come on, I can't hit myself again. Oh, I can, and that happens. <laughs> and there we go. And you just kind of have to line it up with the, the correct things. Wow, kid. Have Be able to like get around pro? that. There's also in the one, one there's like moving city, cars around which you have to, of course, dodge. Even help you out with parts. You and me, kid. Okay, Mickey. Now let's pick up the kids, shall we? Hi, driver. I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanics and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. I don't know if I said this already, but you're, the person you're playing is a silent character, so they don't actually speak. All you hear is the... Giorgio's bread and butter. With just a quick yep, look we go. Oh. that adorable lunch kit, Giorgio knew All you hear is that to make a commentator detour. over it. He's in it there. Let's go pick him up. Oh, nearly missed that one. There we go. Alas, See, good best acting done. ever, isn't it? <laughs> Giorgio needed to get these pint-sized pals to school. Oops. Oops, nearly. No. Let's take the bike truck to school. Ah, oh, clearly did it. Yep, you just respawn and that's it. You keep on going. There is, oh, there is a extra thing which you can use, which will then, ah, uh, which will then, um, oh. 
make it so like, well, permadeath, so if you die once, then, well, that's it. God, I really suck at this. Let's just... Ah! Okay, we're not gonna go get the other thing, point things this time. Let's just go around here, there we go. Oh! Let's go. Ah, oh, I was trying to go around the top of the rock. At least we spawn fairly close. There's also things like... It, you just get given them... Well, you don't get given them instantly, but... They're unlocked straight away, so it's like big head... Um, artistic mode, which is... Literally like black and white kind of thing. Um, now, you can't actually set them off whilst playing. You have to... Oh, you have to exit to the main menu and then select what ones it is. I'm sorry, kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. There are upgrades and things which you can get, so let's find an upgrade station here as one. So, right now I've only got turtle power. There's Jeffrey the skeleton, which I don't know. Yeah, skeleton. Jeffrey the skeleton. Um, as you can tell, this game really doesn't take itself seriously, and that's perfectly fine with me. Um, you can also you get money in this game by well, of course, taking people. What's that? Welcome to Grocer. Uh, you can. There's money around the place, like piles of money which you can find. Now, if you're thinking, well, what do you do with the money? Well, you can. There are hats in this. I'm not sure if you have to. Uh, pay for that, but this is what you can do as well, is... Oh! It's a pile of money right there. Awesome. So if we've got $30, we don't actually have enough for that, so oh well, we won't get that. But that will then uh, start earning us money for when we do want extra money. Uh, where do we want to go now? We want to go up here. <sighs> yeah. This game does suggest that you use a... Um, uh, controller, to, like any kind of controller, instead of using keyboard and mouse. You can use a keyboard and mouse, but like I said, it suggests you to use, um, yeah. One thing I've noticed about this is that sometimes people just kind of, like, explode. I'm heading to the school's baseball field. Hello, guy. Oh, it's you. Yeah, you yeah, again. so I teach both driving and baseball. You want to make a big deal about it? Sure. Those kids aren't going to base those <laughs> balls themselves. Let's go, Giorgio. Off to, as you can see, that one up there just blew himself up for some reason. Uh, we want, why are we going around here? Hmm. Bit of a weird path. Yeah, of, I know. The school spends all this money on learning. And going buildings. to, um... They can't even put a baseball stadium on campus. Priorities, am I right? Through the streets instead. Oops. No. Nope. Yes. Uh, is it down? Yes, it is. Okay. Sweet. We're here. Worse than I thought. I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Kids, Not quite. Listen up. <laughs> hey, listen up. I don't know what you're doing here, but in this town we play baseball. You see the chauffeur here? Even Giorgio can play better baseball than you. Show him. Now to play Giorgio baseball. Giorgio never used a limousine <laughs> or a baseball bat before, but there's a first time for everything. Yeah. So it's a bit weird this game. Now get out there and give me ten laps. This is there is a normal version and deluxe edition. There is, um, let's do this. Giorgio, the, school's demanding that I teach the normal version now. is, this is an £10.99, and there'll be a link in the description to the Steam page, of course. Like someone who knows what soccer is. Can you show these kids how to bounce a soccer ball or whatever it is that you do in your sport? <laughs> uh, sure, we'll play the challenge. Oh, God. Oh, God, we actually have to... Bounce a football up and down. Come on, nope. 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 
How many do we have to do? What? 122? Wow. That is crazy. Oh, nearly lost it then. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, return to world. The deluxe edition is... Um, I believe it is $14.99. Well, it's on the same Steam page, so if you want to buy that, you can. Oh, I got a different horn now. That's a bit weird. Um, the, the different game mode, uh, the deluxe version gives you a... Huh. I'll ask you. Um, it gives you a... Uh, like first person view, three view uh, builds of like the, the first builds, um, I think behind the scenes as well, but that's about it I believe. Yeah, Greg the Eagle. Okay, what else is there? Horns? How is that a birdhouse? Let's have the platter on there. Uh, what else is there? Paint. Ooh, we can paint. Wow. <laughs> okay, invisible bill. Some weird paint which you can get. Spooky limo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's see. Now, what one shall we go to? That one is flashing, so let, I guess we should go to that one. But let's see if we can buy this building down here first. Ooh! Let's oh, a different music. Can we buy this? We can! Why? So now that will slowly earn money. I'm not sure if I actually have to come and pick it up though. Ah! I wonder what there is in a mall. Ah, oh, it puts us straight away outside, okay. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I should have went when it started turning. Oh well. Let's see if there's a way around this side. Ooh, just. Is that it? Ah. Oh. Is it? But it takes me to the same place, so... Okay, let's go do our mission, shall we? Whoa! Thank you. Well, let's... I shall... I'll show you some of the... Setting things. This is also something which I really like about game, it's just the loading screen. Uh, extras. Uh, I like the... Where is it? Big head mode, because everyone just has big head. Who doesn't like that? I'll show you arty mode, which is a bit weird. Um, I'm not sure about sudden death limo, so let's see that one. Continue game. You can just jump straight back in. I'm not sure what that little flashing is there. Yeah, this is artsy mode. I'm not quite sure why somebody would play it like this, but... Instantly explode, but yeah, I guess somebody may want to play it like this. Not quite sure why, but I'm gonna go to the menu and turn it off because I I, I don't like artsy mode. So let's see, challenges, not challenges, artsy mode off. Good. It would be good if you could like turn it on and off just in game. Go. So now let's try and find some people, shall we? And that was pathetic. There we go. So this guy does a different kind of upgrade. Oh yeah, I've already showed you this one. So there's the purple uh, upgrade place and the... Whoa! 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 There's a big person. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, it's a purple and a yellow one. Thing is, with a big head mode, they all seem to be the same. I'm not sure if I just didn't notice that they were all the same before or not. Oh, sudden death. Yeah. So the reason I'm dying this is because I got that 
sudden death um, limo thing on it. So that's a bit more challenging if you don't just want to go straight for the permadeath thing. I really shouldn't be playing on the, with this um, extra mode on. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Nearly done it then. Uh, I haven't bought this place, have I? Let's see if we can buy it. Uh, buy it. Awesome! Watch where you're going! Watch where you're going! Pick up the date guy. Okay. Date down the road. Well, uh, I mean, we're seeing a movie after, but, well, she's just meeting me. Oh gosh. It's okay, guy. Let's go around here. Oh no. What if she's allergic to flowers? Damn it, Steve, you ruined everything. <laughs> It'll be fine, Steve. Ah. How far back do I get sent? Oh, only there. Awesome. Yeah, how am I gonna do this? Yes! Hi. Hi. Uh. <laughs> let's, let's go, driver. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like the acting for this. Uh, so let's go up again. Do we go right? Okay. So, uh, you like movies? Yeah, movies are okay. Do you like movies? Yeah, I love movies. Oh, what? Oh, there's a post there. Okay. Uh, Up we go. And around. Uh. Ah! So close. So, so close. Oh. Oh. There we go. Thanks. So, do I pay you now, or later, or do I- Oh! Thanks, Giorgio. Wait, you got a limo to drive us to the drive-in theater? Damn it, Steve! <laughs> oh, it's okay, Steve. Let's just go skip through here. Let's pick up Elizabeth then, shall we? Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this whole limousine for hire thing. A little did Giorgio know that a curveball was about to land in the back seat. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Are you, you're Giorgio? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm running a little behind. You see, uh, Julia's wedding is at 11, not 1, so we need to book it. Let's go, Giorgio! Yeah, Giorgio, let's go. Yeah. I didn't mean to get in your way, <laughs> Yeah, I, I like the background people, the just voices which you hear every so often. Didn't mean to get in your way, limousine. Right on! Do you do this all the time? Spinning is fantastic! Oh! Through here? Okay. I wonder how long until we'll see uh, the skeleton guy. And again. Oh! Nearly messed it up then. Ah. Yes, right there. Straight through. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that wasn't the drop off point. Oh my gosh, you are just the bee's knees. Thank you so much. Hey, so. I'm only in town for a little bit, but. Okay, Beth. And instantly blow up. Yes. Oh, so I'm going to have to go all the way back up to there. Let's see if we can go up here. I like it when going around that corner just then. It was like I was um, drifting. Ah. 
Ah. Anyway, there's going to be a link in the description to a Steam page and their website if you want to check it out. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's if I'll say this is worth uh, uh, eleven pound, but it's quite funny. I'm, yeah, I'm not. It's a different game. Let's just say that. <laughs> Very different. Pop, pop, pop. Yes. Also, for you, those who don't like gore, there is a no gore mode, so lucky you. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this. Tell me if you want to see more of this, um, and we'll see you next time. Bye!